Okay, so it's been a long time since I've said this, but welcome back to my channel. So today, basically, um, I guess by the title you will know that this is going to be a sort of chit chat get ready with me. I'm not actually talking in the get ready with me, so I decided to just do a voiceover while I, you know, jam out to my music that you're probably not going to hear. So excuse the faces that I make and stuff. I just felt like putting on the camera and just recording. So that's what I did. So I've been going for some time and that period that I just, I didn't do anything. I was just really uninspired. And I was like, how can I have become and inspired and I just started this I haven't gotten anywhere and I just started this and then I had to take a step back and say who am I doing this for again why am I doing this again because I started to make it I started to see things like on social media of people progressing and people doing good and doing well and I started to feel like okay I'm slacking I'm not doing good enough it's like when I started, I was just in a place where I was like motivated, so motivation, my motive, uh, so motivated, my motivation was on 10. And then life just stood in front of me and said, uh uh, hold on, wait. And um, I was on pause, like my creative mind or my, what I've, felt like I could talk about on screen and st or on camera and stuff was just not coming to me nothing was coming to me and I feel like it began to feel like I had to post to prove things and then I had to tell myself look you're not doing this for nobody but yourself like why are you doing this you're not doing this to be like you're not doing this to be like everybody else you had your own reasons for doing this so you take your time but don't use that as an excuse to say I deserve to rest or I can do it later because of this and that so I was actually doing that I was really putting things off and procrastinating because I had all the ideas jotted out but I didn't have it planned out so I was just like, mm, I'm tired of doing this. I'm tired of doing this and I just felt so bad about myself. I felt like I was failing because I started to get discouraged and then I just disappeared. Um, and I also had to tell myself that I can't let people determine whether or not I'm valid. Because if you live to conform to people, if that's what you give, if that's what gives you life, you're holding yourself in bondage. So that's something that just, that isn't, that's a no. Don't hold yourself in bondage because you're out here not doing what everyone else is doing. You're out here not doing what everyone else feels is, is best. And um, it's like sometimes you think you're ready for something. But like I said, life happens. Things happen. But um, during that time, but however long that was, I stopped counting. I stopped looking to see who was watching my video. I stopped looking to see who subscribed to my channels. I channel. I turned off my notifications. I turned off all of that. I was not paying attention because I didn't want to feel bad about it because I knew what I was doing this for. It wasn't really necessarily for the views. It wasn't for the likes. It wasn't for the subscribers. It was for myself. It was for myself. It is for myself. Um, but during that time, I had so much time to focus on school. Like, I don't know what happened, but um, I just have to say thank you to God because I finished this semester so strong, like real strong. And I'm just like, thank you, God. God bless, like, because he has just been doing that. He has been doing amazing things. And if I could get into full detail, with what he has been doing in my life it's just the little things like it's nothing that you would look at and say this 
Okay, so my camera turned off right here. Um, halfway through it, and I don't, I don't be noticing when my camera turns off because it doesn't tell me. And um, so my face is already halfway done right here, unfortunately. Um, but it's not like I was out here listening to products. This is really just a simple everyday makeup look because I'm not a makeup artist and um, I don't do makeup. So, yeah, there I am just jamming out, doing some sort of contour something. Don't really know. But, um, yeah, I use Fenty Foundation. This is pretty cool. But anyways, um, but yeah, God has been doing that in my life and it's just the little things that you wouldn't say usually boast about or usually acknowledge and then you sit down and you reflect and you're like wow I am blessed I am highly favored thank you Jesus um so yeah um and during that time it was just I really had to just train myself and really remind myself of a lot of things because in the beginning when I started that little a week of positivity and stuff I did not continue that because then because I lost purpose in it and I lost reason for it because I'm just like I felt like I was just complaining about my life when I could have just you know thought of things differently and been positive and turn to God which I, w I was doing but I wasn't doing you know because he let me know that when you slip up that doesn't mean you have to fall it means you learn from that slip up and you speak your truth to yourself and you tell yourself look you need to not do this anymore and you need to get yourself together and that was what I was really trying to learn I'm still learning not to beat myself up for mistakes <laughs> yeah not to beat myself up for mistakes um, that I've made because everybody makes mistakes everybody has those th those are probably not even words but um yeah but that also taught me or I don't know if that, I guess I could say that but I was also learning that just because he forgives you, just because God forgives you, does not mean that you should stop obeying him. Or, because he's he's a forgiving God. And you know, especially if you know that there's a grace on your life. Like if you know where you come from and he's brought you out of that and you know that he has been there for you he's the reason why you are who you are and where you are and you keep on doing these things blatantly and just and you know he's there and you know he's whispering to you it's just like you're slapping him in his face talking about I, I, I don't care it's basically you telling him that you don't care and even though he's always going to bless you you can just you can be delaying things in your life and it's just be aware of that um i also realized during that time of i i wasn't finding myself i'm always finding myself every day in my life i'm finding myself and realizing myself but i realized i can't be bothered i cannot be bothered like no i've I began choosing what I allowed to bother me. I began, you can, you know, you can choose your thoughts. You can choose who is in your life. Yes, you can choose who is in your life. Um, you can choose what you think about. Okay, I'm about to attempt this eyeshadow look. Let me show y'all how this, this just fails because I don't know how to do eyeshadow for anything. And I just, this is actually a joke, but um, at this point I'm thinking like I should just leave it like this because <laughs> I don't have time and I was drained. But um, yeah, back to what I was saying. You can choose in your life. He gave you choices and you can choose. And I had to choose to 
focus on myself and my blessings and his plan for my life I had to choose what I let affect my mind who I let affect my mind I just I had to choose all of that I had to guard my mind I had to protect my mind so and it, it just makes me smile because I'm just like I can't be bothered don't bother me don't even try it mm -hmm. <laughs> and this is my song right here and <laughs> yeah that's funny um, but yeah, when you start to recognize the smallest blessings, you forget about what was ever bothering you in the first place. Like, literally, my mind goes blank to things. Like, I'll be so upset about something, so down about something, and then whenever it's, like, I remember my blessings, a few days later, I'm just like, why was I so sad that day? Why was I so upset? Why was I so angry? Why did I have the headache? Oh, for what? Like, I literally, I forget. Um, another thing that I also been doing was deleting social media every week at the beginning of the week. And I wouldn't, either I wouldn't download it at all for the week, the week until I felt like it, or I would wait until the weekend to, to download it just so I could focus on what's in front of me to be present and not be bothered by what I see or start comparing myself or you know feel some type of way I just cleanse myself with social media every week and then I keep my notifications off so that I can talk to people when I want to talk to them so that I can get to people when I want to get to them so I can answer my phone when I want to answer my phone yeah, this is me just showing out, um, feeling my face, you know, feeling at this eyeshadow look. But yeah, uh, my notifications stay off because I don't, okay, sorry, let me pause again. I don't, I have this in my mouth because times are just getting tough. I didn't have three arms, but um, yeah, I hate, I do not like hearing my phone ring, to be quite honest. My notifications will stay off, and I, sometimes I'll be so bored that I'll check it every second to see who's talking to me, and nobody's ever talking to me, so yeah, I just keep them off, but um, yeah, I hate hearing my phone ring, so no notifications for me. And my focus right now is to push myself. So I want to let you know if you're listening to this, because this kind of turned into a ramble. Because I'm kind of I'm looking at my phone and I have different points and stuff, and I'm trying to extend this little chit chat so that it, it will fit the video. But um, my focus right now is pushing myself. Why does this keep on turning off? That's very annoying. Anyways, my focus right now is pushing myself no matter how I slip up or what tries to distract me. I make sure that I'm alert and I push past that. I push past all that. Like, don't come for me. Um, I feel like learning, this is going to be repetitive kind of, but yes learning to choose your thoughts it's this is all really easier said than done i say this all the time to everybody if i'm ever giving someone advice if i'm ever you know talking to myself <laughs> talking to god everything is easier said than done but once you do it and you reflect you like i did that i did that okay this is me laughing at my failed eyeshadow um attempt because what what is that you know what is that <laughs> that's like some grandma makeup but you know it's so good it's okay but when you choose your thoughts this can mean disconnecting from 
things that confuse you things that you know you don't need in your life in a certain moment it means letting go letting go i don't know the rest of that but um just doing things to protect your mind body and spirit if something is around you or near you or you're doing something that you know is going to this is me talking about how i don't have time i think but if you know something is gonna just make your spirit burn <laughs> oh my jesus if you know something that's gonna make your spirit burn make your head hurt because you're thinking too hard about it make your body lazy because you, you've, you're just laying there thinking about it and tormented about it you need to detox your life of those things rid yourself of those things this might be this might mean permanently or temporarily you just make sure that you're choosing choose yourself first choose god first choose his plan for your life first it's just so you can be at ease and and don't ever feel guilty about a choice that you've made for the betterment of yourself to see yourself better to follow what you know was right for your life because some people can live a certain way and be good but you if you know yourself you can't do something yeah i got frustrated right here this is frustration because my camera kept on dying but if you know that you have a calling in your life you can't always you can't walk like everybody else you can't talk like everybody else you can't do what everybody else is doing and that's something that you gotta understand because people out here they can live their life anyhow anyway be good be gucci but you if you know this that if you do a certain thing if you act a certain way if you say a certain thing and it'll affect you later you need to take heed to that be cautious of that and just take a minute take a step back and know what it is that you need to do to I guess fix that. Then we got people, friends, and relationships. Things that I don't even really know about. <laughs> Things that I don't even really know about. I guess that goes along with choosing things. I was about to cry right here. That goes along with choosing people in your life, choosing the friendships that you keep, choosing the relationships that you keep. Just make sure none of those things affect you to where you step outside of yourself. When you start to step outside of yourself, you gotta say, honey, who is you? Who who do you be? Like who are you? Like, just make sure you're not losing yourself in these things. But yeah, I hoped this made some sense Ugh, look at that hair i hate that hair if i was a hair reviewer i would let y'all know that that hair is trash but um <laughs> yeah i hope all of this made sense i hope you enjoyed my little ramble and my little dances and my my jam session here my little my little jam session you know um but thanks for watching thanks for your support thanks for all the love you know and um yeah i'll see you i'll talk to you in my next video maybe maybe not <laughs>